G'day guys, Unforsaken Bricks here, back with another video. Obviously keeping with the winter theme, since it is winter, um, thought we'd continue on with the Arctic series that I've, that I've got. Um, obviously, um, this was a big set in, I think, 2013, 2014, I think it was, maybe 2014. Um, so I've you know, decided, I thought, being winter, we'll, we'll do these sets. Like I said in the last video, I don't own all of them. There's three I'm missing, so we'll uh, we'll just do the ones I own. Uh, I apologise for the lighting. I'm in a different room, and every room's got different lighting, and it's starting to annoy me. So we'll, I thought we'll just for for the purpose of the angles that we're doing here, because it is relatively big compared to a lot of the other sets I review in in the Lego room. Um, so obviously you're getting to see a bit more inside of my house. Probably not a good thing, but what can you do? Okay, so this one right here we're reviewing today is the Lego uh, Lego City Arctic Outpost. No, Base Camp, sorry. This is the Base Camp. Um, so this everything you see in here is everything you get. There's a lot of going on, a lot of playability in this one, which for, I think this was $115. Actually, I think it might have been a little bit less, but I think I paid about 115 because it was not on special. Um, but you know, there's a lot here. There's a lot of playability. I am missing a piece for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know where it's gone, but I usually try and keep all the set, the set pieces together when I, when I just have them sitting in, a, in the collection. <clears throat> so there's a lot. Where, where to start? Where to start? Well, obviously, let's start with, I think, the minifigs, probably the biggest one. I think, yeah, we'll start with the minifigs. Um, I varied a few of them from the actual thing because the, some, some are supposed to have certain things and some are supposed to have other certain things, but I've just decided just to do it separately and differently. So we'll start off with this one right here. So as you would have seen in the last one, it's pretty. a lot of them are pretty much the same. They come with the same sort of outfit uh, and the same, like obviously there's, in this set there's four of the same headpiece and four in the same outfit. Obviously just some of them have different functions. So this one here we've got, um, I'll just move the camera down. He's got um, the trans blue clear glasses or goggles. See that. But everything else is the same. And then obviously he's obviously walking around in the snow. So he's got his snow f um, paddles on. And then obviously we've also got the camera. So he's obviously our little documentarian. So we're going to call him. He's going to be our. What's his name? We're going to be, he's going to be the David Attenborough of this set. So he's the documentarian. He must be documenting how the the expedition's going, as well. So then, as I said, there's four of the same. So I'll just show you the mini fig. So this one's got the trans orange glasses. This one's actually a female. So there is, I think, one female in this set, or two females, I can't remember. I think it's just the one. Um, so, you know, given a bit of gender equality there, males outweigh females six to one, which probably isn't, you know, anything. So, so there's four like that, so I won't show you all of them. We've got our little, uh, our scientist here. He's the one experimenting on or checking out all the materials that they bring in. So he's got the same same pants. Different, obviously different top. So he's got like a little lab coat over the top of his little his orange jacket. Uh, brown hairpiece. Obviously got glasses. Needs to be able to read and see. And obviously he's, he's bearded, so he's been out here for a very long time. And of course he comes with a little magnifying glass as well. So that's a cool addition. We've also got to this one. This one's actually meant to be the guy holding the video camera, but I but when I built it, I changed it and haven't changed it back. So he's now becoming our little our little mini ex excavator. So he's the one digging away all the rock to get to the, the min mineral when it comes back to base. Um, so he's got his little ice pick there. He's got a dark blue um, pants with a with a blue vest and a, a dark blue beanie, which is not on straight for some reason, but oh well. Um, so that's him. And then, of course, our last minifig is the helicopter pilot. So, obviously, there's actually supposed to be a piece that goes with the net. 
which I'll show you in a sec, but I don't have the extra piece for some reason. Um, so the, our helicopter pilot is the one that goes around and flies to pick up all the, the minerals that need to be carried by air because they don't have the, the men on the ground to do so. So our helicopter pilot, so obviously he's different again, so he's got black helmet, he's got a different face, there's, no, there's obviously no trans goggles. Um, he's got uh, the tan pants and then obviously he's got a brown jacket with his, with his harness for the helicopter. Um, so that's all the minifigs, so all seven of them, so I said I wasn't going to show off the, the other two of the orange and blue with the, the blue Eskimo hood because they're all the same other than the fact that one was female, which I showed you. Uh, so it also comes with a little polar bear. So he's obviously smelt something close to his base because he's come sniffing it out. And uh, obviously our resident documentarians come to get it, come to, to film it. It also comes with the four huskies on the sled rider, on the dog sled. So we've got one meaning the sled at the back and then obviously we've got our dogs. And then of course we've also got you know, our sled rider is obviously a fisherman as well, so that's probably what the polar bear sniffed out in this series. There, so it comes with two boulders. One already has the mineral in it, one's elsewhere, which I'll get to in a sec. So it comes with two boulders, they both supposed to have the crystal. But the net, which I am missing the piece that does that does hook up to the helicopter, which I will do a quick show around of that, so it's pretty much, uh, if you saw my Lego fire station video, it's pretty much the same thing, uh, the only difference really, uh, obviously I think it's slightly shorter, uh, it's got a hoist at the back here, instead of the, the obviously the other one was bigger, bigger, so it's bigger at the back as well, where it had the, the water canister, this one's obviously got a hoist instead, and doesn't have the hose, so it's pretty much just a miniature fire one, just with a slight different change in detail, but it's only only the, the one sticker on each side of the tail. Actually, sorry, and obviously the the um, hoist has stickers as well. Why is that not in properly? Um, we've also got our mineral digger. Move that back a bit because it's probably a little bit big. So this one, obviously, is a snow crawler. So it's got the tracks to go through the snow without getting bogged. You've got, and then you've also got your digger to dig up the minerals from underneath the snow as well. Which that also shows, shows a bit of playability because it does spin, so it acts a bit of realism to it as well. Um, and then obviously you've got our resi resident little controller at the back, just on the controls, digging up that 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 uh, that mineral. All right, so we'll just pop all that to the side now. And oh, of course, you get another. Before I forget, you also get another snowmobile. So this one's obviously different to the other one that you get the, the one that's standalone. It doesn't have the um, sort of like the trailer bit, I guess you could call it. It's got, it doesn't have the, the attachment that you can pull this, pull another little sled. So it's a slightly different design, as you can tell the, uh, if you saw the other video. They had the ATV um, paneling, and then it was so it was a little bit bulkier and a little bit wider. But this one's just I think just a um, speed one, not a not an actual all-terrain one. So this one's just a speed one, just to speed through the snow. So that's pretty cool as well. And of course, we'll just you now finally, of course, we'll come to the base camp itself. So it's not the biggest of buildings, but there is a lot still going on. Both sides have this ramp, I think. Yes, they do. Which. I might just do a quick spin and show you the other side. Um, so obviously it's windows, glass panels. Yeah, not that you can really see in there, but I'll get the roof off and we'll have a look inside in a second. I think they fold up anyway. Yeah, they do. So we'll have a quick look in that second. Then we've obviously got another one with another door on this side, and I'm pretty sure these open up too. Got my lights in the way. So that door opens up as well to get into there. Pretty sure that opened up, but I can't remember. No, I think actually she's now uh, jammed shut. Okay, let's not let's not worry. We'll, f we'll figure something out to get into there. Uh, actually, hang on, no, it opens up from here. Idiot. 
Okay, so we'll take a look at the, end, the main part of the base first. So obviously the roof folds up as well. I might try and get it in some light where we can actually sort of see what's in there. Not that we really can, but... So on this part, basically where I'm guessing the snowmobile just slides in. It's supposed to slide in, so I think it just sits up like that. Like so. It doesn't actually shut with that there, but it almost does. It's in the way, so that shuts up. The snowmobile slides out of there. Comes down, obviously. That's the, uh, the holding area. Um, that's on. That's pretty much all that is on this side. Thought you really much useful. So we'll take a look at the other side. So I'll just put this. Actually, I'll leave that up because then you can actually see a bit better through. So this side just looks like a little tea room. A little TV or radio in the corner there. Just a little white thing just in the back there. That's actually not bad. Very bad angle. Um, and there's just a little fireplace to keep warm in the back as well. So there's not too much in this side, but I think this this next bit probably. Um, got a bit more detail because it's more where the lab is for where, you, where you're doing all the work so we'll just get the minifigs out of the way so as you can see in there hopefully is a crystal under the microscope a bit closer there we go so it's crystal under the microscope they've got it on the scanner my stickering is not very good in this again there's a coffee mug in there there's a bit more detail obviously still not too much going on in this because there's a lot of things going on elsewhere but Still got a little bit of detail on the inside, so that there's some. This, this is what it's used for. So it's, this is more like the research base part of the base camp. There's obviously no you know, bedding in these. There's another crystal that they are examining. That's come up the up the conveyor belt. So basically, when what they what would then do? So obviously, they get the crystal out of the thing, put it on the conveyor belt, and it just winds up so it falls goes into the little pit there lastly lastly and I'm now this is taking a little bit long but this will be the last bit and then I'll just do a quick score so then there's obviously outside here we've got an accessory holder so you've, we've got extra um, snow paddles there's the chainsaw that actually does come with this set which I think it's pretty cool how they've built it they haven't actually just made a chainsaw mold they've actually made you build it which I think is which I think is pretty cool because you know you don't want to have a mold of everything. You do want a bit of creativity, and you've also got a little just a little rack there for the radio, extra radio and the chainsaw just to get those those minerals out of the out of the thing. So overall, that's that's the set, guys. So overall, um, I think I'd probably give it a, a solid. I think I might give it a solid eight and a half out of ten. Um, the only, the, only thing, the only thing that I think lets it down is there's probably not enough detail on the inside of the, of the actual base. Um, I mean, everything else you get is fantastic. There's detail, there's realism, there's, you know, there's, um, oh, what's the word? I don't know, it's just a bit more pizzazz about it, whereas the inside's just a bit left to be desired, um, which is a little bit disappointing. I mean, obviously, you know, Probably for for what for what you get, you're still getting a lot for the money you pay. But I just think it's just lacking that bit of detail on the inside, which is a little bit disappointing. Overall, it's a very good set. I thoroughly enjoy these sets. So my girlfriend loves these sets because it's everything about snow. Um, but I don't. I thoroughly enjoy these sets. There's a lot of playability. You know, there's a lot going on. You can create your own winter scene with it. Stick it in a mountain or whatever, wherever you'd like. Um, but yeah, so that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Unforsaken out.